Hi, this is uh, Miss Wamskit Riding and Driving Club. We came down from Situate, Rhode Island today to ride on the beach. And this club is actually the longest um, maintained club in uh, Rhode Island for 52 years, I think now. Since 1942, yeah. continuously operating continuously horseback operating. riding club. And we have probably six or eight trailers due to come in here today. Maybe that many. And we have about 75 members in the club. Abby, she's an Appaloosa. Indian horse. She's roan in the front and spotted blanket in the back. She's 28 years old and she's been doing this a while and she's she's the grandkids horse. She's a good girl. She knows what to do. You'll notice Ike's saddle has a pad. Abby's doesn't. That's a conventional saddle with a conventional tree in it, the frame that it's built on. This is a flexible tree saddle. Portions of the saddle underneath move on their own, so you don't need an additional pad. Getting all the packed dirt and mud out. Make sure it's clean. Doesn't have any rocks wedged in there. Because they don't want, you know how it is when you get a pebble in your shoe. Same thing for them if they get a rock in there. Puff. Try to start out with a ride with clean feet. The Cowboys wore knee-high boots. And in more modern times, we cheat and we use what's called half chaps. They come halfway up your leg, so they act as a chafe and Brush guard. Um, the real chaps are the full ones that go all the way up to the waist that you see them wearing, all the way down with a fringe on all the sides. And then they have something called chinks, which only come down to about here, but they're all designed just to protect your knees and your legs when you're going through the brush. It goes on like an old fashioned spat. Walk on. Walk on.